The 3 and 2 Miami Dolphins coming off an overtime victory against the Browns are headed to Paul Brown Stadium to take on the also 3 and 2 Cincinnati Bengals. It's on first down. Steven Montez finds Tyler Eifert. Eifert shrugging defenders. Nice gain of 22 for the Bungles. And then very next play, Montez, no time to throw it is Quan Alexander and another defender saying no mercy as the Bengals will kick a field goal first and goal to attack of Iola, the former national champion will be brought down as Michael Pickney going downstairs where daddy hides the vodka. And then on second and goal, the former national champion at Alabama, Tua, would be intercepted somehow, some way by Kreiner as that one should have just been deflected or a nice play by Gusecki, but instead Kreiner is able to make the play and the Bengals get it back as Joe Mixon mixing it up a little bit as he loses a few yards. Rough start for him, but he did pick it up as the day went along. Dolphins have it back here as Magic Mike. Mike Gusecki for a nice gain of 23, but on 4th and 1, Dolphins going to go for it, and A.J. Dillon would be stuffed up like Thanksgiving turkey. He would be stopped. So here's Joe Mixon running away from the defenders like he did against the cops as Mixon gets it to the 24-yard line. Nice play right there. And then on third down and goal, Steven Montez, the former Colorado Buffalo, he would find A.J. Green in the back of the end zone for a Cincinnati Bengal touchdown. And they would extend their lead now 10 to nothing. as this is Miami's time to show what they can do down in this position as Devontae Parker has it, but he drops it. That was an easy play to, like, the two-yard line. Speaking of the two, that's where they'd be a few plays later. And then Devontae Parker does get the touchdown, so it's all good. But still, Parker should have made that catch as it's now a three-point game. Cincinnati has it here, trying to drive down the field. But Marlon Humphrey, you can't spell intercepted without the D. And Humphrey's going to go all the way to the house with the Joel Embiid celebration. Humphrey has dropped a lot of interceptions this year after catching a lot the previous two years. That's his first INT of the year, and that is going to go the distance. Now third down and seven to a Tagovailoa, scrambling like he's laid on a date. Tagovailoa finds open running room, jukes out Chris Johnson, and brings it to the 46. Very next play. Tagovailoa scrambling like eggs on a frying pan, but he's going to be sacked, and he fumbles it, but it is recovered by Michael Wilhoy. Taco Charlton, the one with the play. The former Michigan Wolverine and Dallas Cowboy, now second and 19. DJ Moore, more wide open than a McDonald's drive through at 5.30 in the morning, bringing it to the 20. Evan on second and nine. Here is A.J. Dillon, and Dillon rumbling, bumbling, stumbling to the end zone as the Dolphins extend their lead. Jason Kelsey would get injured, though, and the Dolphins' offensive line is like a retirement home this year when it comes to injuries, but Kelsey would be good as here on second and one, the receiver just stands there on the screen, and he loses yards. I don't know why he didn't react. Dolphins have it back. Third down, Tagalola will be sacked once again by the former Miami Hurricane, Michael Pickney, and the Bengals have it back as Tyler Eifert untouched all the way to the 34-35 yard line as the Dolphins were sending an all-out blitz and Eifert was wide open down the middle of the field. Second and four, here's Joe Mixon getting the touchdown, but wait, we have a flag on the play and it would actually be a holding call on the tight end, Chavez. So the play would not count. No touchdown for Cincinnati, and they have to go for it here on 4th and 5. They don't have to go for it, but it does make sense, as it would be intercepted by Minka Fitzmagic. Minka Fitzpatrick's third interception in as many weeks. As the Dolphins now in a power position, third down and one, this would end it. As Tagaviola, he'd be incomplete. It is deflected, and the Bengals still have life. 21-13, can they drive down the field? As on second down, Steven Montez, the third-year man, finds Hamilton. Hamilton down the field, gets brought down at the 9. Good start to the drive. Third and goal, here's Montez looking to throw it. 
Montez, incomplete. Joe Mixon is the intended target, bringing up a fourth and goal. This is the game. Montez in the end zone. He connects for the touchdown. It's Chavez who amends his penalty from earlier. Bengals would have to go for two. Of course, it didn't save, and they missed it. And then they'd have to go for an onside kick. However, DJ Moore would recover, and the Miami Dolphins win by a score of 21-19.